Teachers, TZ Teachers. Um, it is just Nicole Welling and myself here tonight. It is Welling, correct? Yes. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Um, and uh, we, but Nicole has been really interested uh, last spring to kind of look into LRNG and youth voices. And uh, well, you'll describe a little bit of what you did and then what you want to do. So we thought we'd record this, put this up with TTT and um, in case anybody else kind of wants to get started with Youth Voices, um, I'm throwing now comment in there too. I don't know. Um, we'll, we'll explain that in a little bit. Um, but so why don't you start, Nicole, with uh, introducing yourself, where you teach, who your students are, that kind of thing? Yeah. So my name is Nicole Welling, and I teach in Austin, Texas at a school called GPA Lanier. And we um, were a high school. 9 through 12. Um, and if, and you, if mm -hmm. you break out GPA, does it tell what your school is about? Um, it's, I don't even know what it means. Okay. Fair <laughs> enough. Okay. Um, what do kids think it means? Um, it's funny. We talk about what a GP, what GPA actually means all the time um, to remind them because um, oftentimes they don't, they don't know what uh, a grade point average is. Um, but it, it's gradu graduation preparatory academy. Sorry, okay. I've got no um, a five month old, so my brain doesn't quite work often. Um, so the way that we work is it's a blended learning campus. So often students are working online through Edgenuity or GradPoint as the main program, and that's for credit recovery. Um, and it's a small school, so. My, and, it, and it's mm -hmm. four kids who are trying to get back into the, another mainstream school or graduate with you, or how does that work? Um, they graduate with us. Some mm -hmm. do try to catch up on their credits and then um, go back to a regular um, traditional school environment. Um, oftentimes we have students you know, who are either parents or they're working a lot and, and they've had a lot of attendance issues. So they're doing credit recovery um, mm -hmm. I um, take either route, really. We don't know each other terribly well, but you should know that I, for 31 years, taught in schools just like that. Wow. So, yeah, but in the Bronx and, and mainly. Um, so, so yeah, I know what you're talking about. Right, right. <laughs> um, and and we've only been around for this is our this is our first fourth school year. So we're actually um, I'm just going to shut the door. So we're actually mm -hmm. in the process of getting down the system. So it's still quite new to us. We haven't been around for 31 years, that's for sure. Yeah, well, neither are most of the schools I worked in. <laughs> Excuse me. So um, I'm teaching research and technical writing and um, I'm really interested in using the learning platform in coordination wow. with Youth Voices. Um, I've used Youth Voices in the past when I was at a different teaching position. Um, I teach ESL and English. Um, a lot of my students are ESL students, long-term L's mostly, um, and some short-term L's as well. Um, What's a short-term L? Newcomers. They, newcomers. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Texas terms. They're, they're a little bit different. Um, so, are you the L teacher, or are you the English, or you said technology research teacher, or both? I'm I'm an yeah. ESL teacher that teaches research and technical writing. Okay. Yeah. And mm -hmm. English also, but the class that I'm, I'm, I'm the, the, the master teacher of a research and technical writing class, in addition to just kind of the literacy pullouts that I do. I'm interested in using Youth Voices specifically for the research and technical writing class. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so one of the things we could do, I mean, you did the, you did the survey, right? I did. We could kind of use that as a frame to think about what you want to do, but you could just keep talking too. I don't know which way we want to go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can, so t tell me more about the, the two programs you mentioned um, that the kids use. Do they get their curriculum there or how does that work? I don't, was it Ingenuity? And there was another one you mentioned. Grad point. Mostly yeah. we used Edgenuity um, for their, their English Edgenuity class. Yeah, for their, okay. But they're not using Edgenuity for my class. 
Mm. I have the flexibility to create the curriculum that I want and use a lot of the curriculum depending on each student's individualized need. Um, some students just need my class for a upper division elective class. Um, and so I can tailor it to, to their needs. Um, other students more often need it, need this class to help them get prepared to pass um, standardized tests, state, mm. state mandated Texas English one, English two tests. Mm -hmm. um, and they may be juniors, they may be seniors, they may be freshmen, they may be, so may be sophomores. Mm -hmm. um, but my experience using youth voices in the past they enjoy it. Um, we've and we've just done very basic stuff, like we were leaving comments, making bios. Um, so we start with making their bio, writing their bio, and and then mm -hmm. moving into leaving comments, um, and then kind of exploring the publishing of different pieces that they've done mm -hmm. that um, they've done already. Mm -hmm. and, uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, where do you think you want to go this? And have you started already? Or we we've met and got our night notebooks together and just kind of met for logistical things. You've met with students already. Right. Oh, okay. Um, but very soon I, I would envision and hope to um, I'm I'm really interested in what we discussed last year. I think we probably maybe touched base in March. And what I was really interested in was the um, ability to use LRNG, do you just, do you say it LRNG or do you call it learning? That's what I say, LRNG, yep. LRNG, okay. So yeah. I'm interested in using LRNG to um, help students collect the badges so that way they can kind of monitor their own progress and uh -huh. project completion. Right. Um, because we do have students with quite a bit of attendance needs, I don't necessarily see them on an everyday basis. Mm -hmm. um, and I also, um, some of the curriculum that you showed me in projects rather were were just really really cool and I think would fit very well with with my students needs um, and abilities and interests does that make sense <laughs> yeah, it absolutely makes sense um, I'm just trying to figure out how to get in here and I yeah yeah we're gonna get real here so in terms of let's get you set up okay right? does that make sense yeah, yeah. let's do it I mean, you have a five month old in the background, so. I mean, <laughs> no, not yet. Yes. <laughs> but I just, I just, I'm feeling nervous. Like, oh, she may have to go any second. No, I'm just, uh, yeah. It's okay. Um, so. Um, and we could just do this in pieces also. Like we could yeah, yeah, discuss maybe a, a starting point. So here's, 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 I, I'm. So I, I really, really, you know, I've been doing Youth Voices for 15 years now and, mm -hmm. and, and totally committed to what you said that they, I mean, they like it because they connect with other youth and they, mm -hmm. they make, you know, that's real um, in, Absolutely. in lo lots of important ways. The badges, I think, are, are really great and we're learning how to do that better and LRNG is a, a wonderful platform in lots and lots of ways. But it's something that is useful for, for us first, and then later the students understand it, right? It, it I, doesn't have the same, yeah, yeah. to my mind, right. it doesn't have the same kind of right. immediate Imme buy-in. Immediacy, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Just to, to warn you, but, but I think both are valuable in their own way. Right. Um, and, and I'm not, well, you have to decide yourself how any of that fits with the test prep kids, but well, maybe yeah. maybe be, maybe yeah. because the badges are more of a teacher thing. Um, I mean, we could just talk about maybe different projects that you recommend getting started with on Youth Voices first, and okay. and then you know maybe next six weeks I can I can aim towards getting the badges going or systems so in place. <laughs> Yeah, so as I'm pulling up my back, my window here, mm -hmm. I hope I am. Tell me more about your time frame in terms of grading. Um, like you just said six weeks. Right, so uh, one thing we're in, and this is a new system we're using in our school. And so each course, I, I have my students for six weeks and then I get a new, new group of students. Um, for each class. So we really have six weeks to complete my class. Okay. My, my semester, what would 
regularly be a semester long half credit writing class. Oh, it would be a, say that again. It's a, a half, half credit, half credit. In six weeks. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Six week. Yep. Six, in six weeks. And we call it a marking period. And so every six weeks, mm -hmm. the students get loaded with four new classes and they have those six weeks um, dedicated to just four classes. And if they finish those four classes, they finish them. If not, um, then they, they get sent back to 0% in their online classes. I'm not quite sure how that um, transfers to my class necessarily, but in the online courses, it's a little bit more real. Uh -huh. so, but but I guess my point is I have six weeks to work with them on writing. So they're doing other online classes within other classrooms. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sorry. they have four periods a day and they have me for one period. So um, yours is actually the more open one. Yes. But, oh, that's yeah. interesting. It's the more yeah. fun one. It's, it's more open and um, we have a lot of flexibility. Well, let's keep it fun. Yes, <laughs> please, please, please. <laughs> yeah, given what you just said. I mean, so we want to use computers, but we don't want them to be doing boring stuff on computers. No, that's no, all. No, that no. And they don't have to be on computers all the time. I, say, I work in small groups or one-on-one. -on -one. Um, I typically work in a workshop, a writing workshop um, environment and um, manner. And so we, we do have a lot of flexibility to make this relevant and fun. Mm -hmm. and you so. You, are you connected with the writing project anymore? Or I know you were in the past. I, um, I have, unfortunately. Wait, I hooked you up. <laughs> yeah, I haven't been, published here now. Yeah, but yeah. Not recently. It's it's uh -huh. been it's been a, a few years, a couple of years since I've been involved. Yeah, okay. just trying to get a sense. Of yeah. Where where that fit in. All right. Um. But 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 do you feel like you're in that realm? I mean, in that world of writing project stuff. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you said where to start, right? Yeah. So first of all, you know to send me your kids' email addresses and names and stuff on right. that form I sent you. So I'm and, and I'm saying this for anybody who's listening to this too. Um, that's the easiest way to get your kids in, and that happens pretty fast if you send that to me. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm going, so I'm not sure what to do here. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do it. <laughs> I, I'm just trying to think. So, so some of some of what we've set up on Youth Voices to integrate LRNG into it, make it confusing, make it fe feel like our LRNG is on Youth Voices. It's actually not. Everything here is just embedded here. So I just wanted to make that clear, but, um, and LRNG has changed some in in some really positive ways recently that that allow, and I'll show this to you, that allow the youth to set up their own dashboard, look through various um, playlists, choose them, bookmark them, and then keep track of how, how well they're going through that work. So all of that works very well now on LRNG. Um, you mentioned that I'm here now, right? Am I sharing this screen? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I see the playlist. Okay. And you. Okay. So <sighs> I keep. So uh, uh, now, uh, a year and a half ago, we kind of pulled together what are now about forty playlists and organized them into these. I'm, I'm pointing to the top here. Um, there's an introductory tab and then a BU and be connected tab. These are kind of the beginning ones. And, and I'll look at those with you in a second. And then there's an argument and research tab um, with all of these here. And then there's a visual and literary arts tab. Yeah, um, yeah stop me any point. Mm -hmm. you, you know. oh, yeah. um, the, um, and what I will say is that so the power of LRNG is choice, right? And yeah. and especially in your, your circumstance. I mean, you, you're set up perfectly for this work, I think, it sounds like. But um, so in six weeks, you want to say, oh, I don't know, you have to decide the number, right? One, two, three playlists. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, maybe it's maybe it's more than that. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, um, and um, 
And then what they what they can do on LRNG now, and um, I'll point to some of these, is create a portfolio where they show off their badges, right? That they've mm -hmm. earned in that six weeks. And but not only show off, but then reflect on that. Right. So it's putting together a digital portfolio that work. Um, I think that's all quite wonderful. Just so just a point here. So these first two here, I'll go through these. This is in BU and be connected. Um, this one is three, it, it is the profile piece. I think you've done this, haven't you, with youth? Mm. Um, should I look at it? Yes, the, they're setting up their profile? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I hope my internet yes. Hang, yes. doesn't yes. hang up too We've much. We've done here. this. Okay. Which I, I, I can't express how wonderful the mentor text aspect of of this whole thing works for my students because as you know, having these over here. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, it's great. Yeah. So that's what doesn't exist on LRNG, by the way. So okay. <laughs> so um, yeah, so finding those here is useful. Um, so then each of these they work through these three these four XPs. I'm pretty sure that two of these are um, optional. Uh, so that uh, maybe not on this one. All right. So our intention with these, this first one is that it's quick and easy, right? Mm -hmm. And that mm -hmm. they get the badge kind of quickly. Mm -hmm. um, this summer I worked with Els, so I know this one better. And we're constantly revising these things, but um, not constantly. So this one was redesigned from the three paragraph one specifically yeah. for Els, right? So they talk about themselves and the second paragraph, well, let me bring that up. Second paragraph, they talk about how immigration impacted them. And then, and we've had kids who aren't Dells do this one as well. Hmm. Um, and then to write about it, justice and justice in some way, just to kind of get that going for them. Um, right? Um, I don't know how much you know about LRNG, but as I scroll down here, I'm realizing it's probably important to say that at the end of each XP, there's a digital piece of work that they submit for that for that XP, mm -hmm. right? Is that more or less clear? Mm -hmm. So there's this one. And tell me, should I go faster or you're no, this hesitant? Is good. No, this, okay. is good. this is good. Okay. So let me go back. So there are two more there. Just um, where are they? OK. So they post it on Youth Voices. Then, oh, notice these two are optional. They record their bios, um, and right. then they embed those. And then they join other kids over here who have done similar ones. And they comment on them, right? Mm -hmm. So you've done more or less that so far mm -hmm. with kids. Yeah. OK. So just to say, they're all ready as a choice, right? Do this one or that one. Right. <laughs> or, I don't want to do my profile, in which case you could say, OK, so do my favorite word, right? Or you want to take a picture in your neighborhood and post that on a map, right? That's what mm -hmm. this one is. More mm -hmm. Do you know Six Word Memoir? Um, yes. OK, so that's sort of set up for them to do yes. as well, all right? Um, again, I'm going fast and then we can slow down mm -hmm, if that mm -hmm. makes sense to you. Uh, this the stress one, um, a lot of kids like to do that. This one had a specific purpose, so not unless they're doing an oral pres presentation somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, oh, this, this one here is the portfolio one. We can talk about that one later. Bias one is interesting. The coming out one was designed by students at mm -hmm. um, Michigan State University. Oh, cool. um, so it's an interesting one. Uh, obviously, kind of more specific. So as you come down on this one, they get a little more complex, a little more specific. And this one, actually, the Paltoon one, you would, I mean, you would have to be pretty confident in how it works and so you could help kids. But there's a teacher, Luis Bell. Also, sorry, mm -hmm. um, who has, I get the examples would inspire the kids here. Um, mm -hmm. And what what she has learned to do, and I, 
if I don't, if all this isn't in this XP in this playlist yet, I'll get the information to you. But she has kind of learned how to have them post a few different kinds of things on Youth Voices First, maybe a where I'm from poem or this or that or the or the introductory profile stuff, and then take choose one of those and turn it into an animation. Okay, right? very cool. So these are quite wonderful, actually, um, animations that they create. Wow. You won't hear sound here, I don't think, but yeah, you don't hear that, right? No, no, I don't. Doesn't matter too much. But so especially with L's, like learning to read something so that it's clear and understandable and put it together. It's a wonderful tool to do that. Mm. Um, and, but what's also true with L's is that they can do little pieces at a time. Like they can, that we, we have had, we had kids and always have kids who barely know English and then really struggle through the first paragraph and then that gets recorded and et cetera. You understand. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Those little pieces are great. That's, that's. Yeah, yeah. So that's an introduction. Now, is that six weeks? I don't know. You have to, it depends on what you're thinking about. So where, where, where were you when you just showed me all of those? You were, Sorry. Just in were you just in playlists or? Yes. Okay. That's what I was trying to see. <laughs> yeah, okay. try to follow along. No, it's it okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. So it's youthvoices.live slash playlists. Got it. Okay. Right. And it, it and there is a button at the top that has playlists. Right? And then unfortunately these tabs at the top are kind of hard to see. Mm -hmm. Yes. Got it. There are the tabs. Yes. Right. Now I remember these. And and this is I remember talking to like the girl, the poem girl. I remember we talked about these last school year. Oh yeah, where is that? Some oh, that's over here. Yeah, the visual and literary arts. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here's girl, I, I love girl. I, I, I wish more people did that. <laughs> but, um, cool. But there is that. That's great. So, right. um, but you know, is where I'm from here? That's always mm -hmm. a wonderful one to do. Yeah, here it is, is this one. And we just revised this this summer too. So I think it's sort of, State it, of our art, at least. Okay. Is yeah. this like kind of like a Penny Kittle style where I'm from? Um, so I don't know how Penny Kittle, do, I know Penny, but I don't know. How does she do it? <laughs> oh, no, I'm, I'm just thinking she does a where I'm from um, po poem with her students in one of her books. I'm trying to remember which book it is. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, featured. I, I mean, George Ella Lyon was mm -hmm. the poet who wrote it. Mm -hmm. And this would be an opportunity to look quickly. So yeah, and so the way this playlist sets it up, and you can change this up as you, you know, obviously as you want to. But is there's a Willie Perdomo poem also? Did I say his name right? Anyway, it's a wonderful poem, but very different from George L. Lyons' poem. Okay. Um, Sorry, I should have told you I was going to click before I did it. So mm -hmm. on on this, the first XP here, let's uh -huh. just go through this one because I think it's worth thinking about a little bit. Okay. Um, introducing now comment um, here. So on this first XP, the um, the George Ella Lyon poem is here, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. um, okay. And what's nice is that if they double click here, they then add, they can start a conversation about any of the lines in the poem. Oh, cool. So this summer, for example, we asked kids to find something at the beginning, at the middle, at the end, and they found oh, cool. stuff there. And all of our summer kids are here. That's kind of, mm. that can, it is, at first, maybe it's some people, some readers hate it. But it's kind of nice if you click on, for example, this comment, you can see where she was commenting. Oh, very, very cool. Um, yeah. So there's that. And then, then in between here, we can think about this design-wise, but it sort of works. Um, 
is George Ella Lyon's description of how to write this poem. Mm -hmm. She kind of lays it out. And then here's the Willie Perdomo poem. I know I'm pronouncing his name wrong, I apologize. Um, <laughs> the, um, which you can tell is more like a narrative poem, mm -hmm. um, but it obviously culturally different too and interesting in that way. Okay. Um, having said all that, what I part of what I love about this playlist, and I didn't create it, <laughs> so, um, is that each each of the um, videos here have have a different ver right. This is a this is a hip hop where I'm from poem, for example, if you can oh, yeah. hear. It. Um, and then over here, oh yeah, here's uh, I think these are they're I think they're middle school kids. <laughs> They read their where I'm from poems, right? Oh, nice. So you get a sense of lots of possibilities. Right, 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 right. That's right. great. Um, so, but then they're, the second XP, they write it. And then the third XP, this year, this will start to feel familiar, is they post it on Youth Voices, yep. right? And then in the fourth XP, they find somebody else's and they oh, and those are all over here on the right side. They respond to that. At this point, there are hundreds of where I'm from poems up here, so they can find something that's similar to theirs or different from theirs, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, if I ever go in any direction, that's that's a good one, I think. Okay. <laughs> um, Manga Street, though, writing a vignette. That was that's a recent one. That's a possibility too. Okay. Um, especially especially for elves, I think that was designed with elves in mind. Right. Yeah. Um, so, um, huh. but if you know, this was an this is an interesting one too. I'm I'm kind of going. I, I keep saying this, but I'm zipping through these. But the uh, this is America video. Yeah. So that's all here. And what's nice about this on now comment, I'll point out, is that they can stop the video and comment as they go to it. Oh wow. Right. So and then and then when you click on the the comment, it goes to that point in the video, or it yeah. should. Wow. It, it does here. Yeah. This is great. Yeah. This is really, really, really slick. Yeah. Um, the lyrics are all here too. So there's there's already, I, what I'd like to, what I hope happens here, <laughs> right, uh -huh. is that youth get a sense of there's this stream of conversation and commitment by other youth mm -hmm. to, to to thinking about stuff and, and they can jump in, um, you know, at some point. Um, okay. okay. Yes. So, I'm just so kinda, let me slow down. What are you thinking? Yeah, can you can you just show me how you got to the childish Gambino and the comments on the video? So you go to the playlist. Yes. Okay. So mm -hmm. we're on visual and literary arts. Mm -hmm. And then there he is on the bottom. There he is there. So what comes up here is the general introduction, right? That has the, in this case, there are just three XPs, mm -hmm. right? And what's on the right side is the um, the examples of what youth have created. Okay. Uh, right, I think it's, yeah. So the ones with the most comments are in that section and the ones that are most recently is in this section. Okay, so that's what they published as a part of the Looks like there's three XPs. Yeah, right. As that's what they publish. Mm -hmm. And that's the poster response, and it comes up on the right. Okay. So they first. So the first one is to go to watch the video mm -hmm. and comment on it. Mm -hmm. Right on on now comment. You asked mm -hmm. me how to get there. There's a link right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. got that it. Takes you there. Sorry, you, you zipped right through it, and th I know. This, this makes sense though. No, I, it's it's very it seems very um, user friendly. Oh, well, I I like to say nothing is everything takes learning, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, yeah, but 
to and yeah, we'd love for you to give you. That, that's a nice moment though to to just say that as you get familiar with the platform, mm -hmm. um, we would love for you to take your curriculum and put it up here too. Right? Okay. So, and then our vision, we rarely get there. I mentioned the um, coming out one that we worked with three students. Mm -hmm. Our vision with this is that students begin to co-create this curriculum as well. Okay. So <laughs> we'll see if we get there. Um, so they post their response. I don't know, and maybe there isn't a comment name here, but yeah. Um, I think it's here on this one. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, oh, there are only two up here. Okay. But but at the bottom here, mm -hmm. kids who have earned the badges for this get their name posted here. Oh, neat. Okay. So that's there. And but anybody could go in and see what Adelphi did. These are this this is his work that mm -hmm. he put up there, right? Mm -hmm. Um, um, but sorry, I should slow down and you tell me what <laughs> what looks interesting. Or the I wanted to mention the owning Shakespeare because you did mention there are some advanced mm -hmm. classes. Mm -hmm. If there's anybody reading Shakespeare, is that a possibility or not? I don't know. Um, they, they would be through. There is some Shakespeare in I believe the English three curriculum. And mm -hmm. so that, that would be a part of the, um, the ingenuity classes, mm -hmm. which this well, is actually so really interesting because um, there, there is some flexibility of subbing out some of the curriculum, right? So let's yeah, say, what that, does that look like? Yeah. so, so let's say um, as they're rolling through one of their, their English three, um, courses mm -hmm. and if, if they do come across Shakespeare, I have the ability as their teacher to sub out particular projects for other projects to make it more interesting and relevant. Um, so this is actually really cool. I totally get that. Yeah, 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 mm -hmm. that makes sense. Um, so it's an act, it's a lovely playlist. It looks like it needs some revision here, but um, just format wise. But what's nice about it is the I'll, I'll go through it quickly. The, the, mm -hmm. the first XP, they just say, "What, you know, why, why read Shakespeare now?" Right, mm -hmm. and they, they look at some videos and stuff to to kind of make that point. Um, they find a section of the play they're reading mm -hmm. to read it aloud and to really make it meaningful. Mm -hmm. Then they do some close reading of some of it, and mm -hmm. then they make something. Um, an adaptation, uh, a stage, whatever that you know. Lots of it's a very, well, I like to say, ill-defined <laughs> um, hmm. project there, uh, which means you would have to assist it a little bit, probably. But okay, <laughs> what's nice is that it doesn't have to do with any specific play. Oh, um, okay. So any any play they're working on this playlist would work for. Oh, very cool. That's really it's an nice. interesting one, I think. Huh. Um, but I wanted to kind of uh, relatively here get to quickly <laughs> get to this list because you did mention research, right? Yes. Yes. yes so which you know, which it, it's hard to teach research when you only see a student when they show up to school on occasion. So um like, you, so sure. let me give the thirty second the thirty second description, and this won't do Chris Sloan's work enough justice. But he's a uh, he's been teaching with, on youth voices with me for the fifteen years. So, okay. and and we are right. We really really wanted to get to it, but we didn't get it done. Um, he, he has a six week, which you do too, curriculum, right? That where the where the youth post at the end of every week, right? Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Something about the same topic. So there are different different approaches he takes each week. Like the first week, you just explore anything you can on Google. The next week, there's another way to do research. Um, so he kind of but and then they pull together those those six pieces of those six posts on Youth Voices on um, into a research paper 
it's more traditional paper that they end up writing. But but there's a lot of interaction going on during all that time. Like there are people responding to their stuff, they're responding to other kids' stuff. Mm. So that curriculum he has, and you know, you pro you probably do something like that already. I don't know. But the third so yeah. Are there examples of these postings on uh, yeah, 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 there are. Um, how I'd find them, I'm not sure. But let me think about that for a second. Um, and, and I can always look at them later. Yeah, I'll... Asking. Yeah, so we can do that. Here's, there are two things that feel worth saying. So over the years, he... This this notion of blogging your research topic mm -hmm. over a period of like six weeks mm -hmm. um, is a is really about you know the interaction that happens when you put pieces of it up at a time and you go deeper each time like oh I didn't think of that question let me go research that that mm -hmm. kind of thing um, getting to an issue or topic that's important does feel worth saying that he does this, I think like in late January, February, and in the fall, the the youth who, who do the research project are just kind of exploring youth voices and finding things of interest and doing lots of commenting. So he starts the project by saying, okay, what did you find yourself commenting on the most, right? So, so there's all that to think about, <laughs> but, um, Let's just see. And up here, I could put a better. Um, am I? Yeah. You know, I could find uh, what I'm looking for right now, but this is worth doing, I think. Um, where is it? Oh, it's funny. If I can't find it, who could? Um, <laughs> here we go. It's only on the home page. I'm going to change that. Okay. So the <laughs> so the the categories, right? are worth finding. And does there, is there a research category? So I will ask Chris how his kids did that. I don't see one. Oh, there mm -hmm. is. There's research help, but that's people looking for stuff. All right. So we'll figure that out for you. <laughs> OK. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll have to do that. Um, and or it's one of the next things I'd love to do is to get um, that playlist finished. But in your mind, if you can think of, I mean, if, and in your planning, if you can think about, um, going back to this, having youth, maybe once a week is too much, I don't know. Because as I said, they were already pretty familiar by the time I did this, but. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll see in a few different times about the same topics and going deeper each time is, I think, interesting. That is an interesting approach. Really. Yeah. So then, and then starting that off, um, I'm pointing to these two, spark inquiry with mm -hmm. questions, but mm -hmm. argument is everywhere is another way to start off. But um, the spark inquiry with questions is, is sort of our standard go-to one. Um, for starting a research project. That's interesting, I didn't reform it. Oh, I did reform, this is good. Um, where we start with 10 self, 10 world questions. I don't know if you've heard us talk about that before. Yes. I, I've, okay. I've kind of fished around and, and found that. Okay, I, you know, I live by that. So okay. <laughs> others, so the, um, that's a real good way to start, I think. Um, this open writing process is, kind of teaching free writing, we make it optional because sometimes, actually with L's, it's not clear to me that this process works as well as with other kids. Right? Okay. So okay. Just, I don't know. But, and and the point of this is find, a, find an issue that's important to you and that mm -hmm. matters to you mm -hmm. and then post about it right away. So there's a, a very quick post, post everything you already know, what you want to know, and then find something online and quote that as part of your post as well. Mm. Right? And then find an image. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so in a day or two, you ought to be able to get that up is the idea. Um, sorry. 
That's and right. Then, that's and then you find other kids who you, you look for this, you search for, there is a search right here. You search for other kids who are looking at guns, right? Or whatever issue or animal cruelty or whatever. Mm -hmm. So that's a nice first experience too. Um, mm -hmm. And whether you start with that or whether you start with profile stuff, you know, that's your decision. <laughs> um, the raise your voices, raise your voice awareness stuff here is also it's it goes it goes a little slower, but it's about finding a civic issue that you're interested to engage in, right? Okay. And you write about it, and you make media about it, so. Now, do you find that any of these pair well together? Like, do you do you maybe start with with ten self, ten world questions, and then and then move students into argument is everywhere or raise your voice, or would you would you suggest maybe just doing one of these? Yes. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, I I say that to say it depends on the situation and the kids and. Okay. Yeah. What I yeah. like is the choice, right? You can right. say, you know, I, I see how impatient you are. You're not right? <laughs> try this, right? <laughs> Whatever. Um, there are then yeah. there as as you come down, you'll see there are more specific ones. Like this one deals with Charlottesville. Right. Yeah. 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 This one deals with Columbus Day. Um, then um, the um, March for Our Lives, there's one here, mm -hmm. like, which which starts with March for Our Lives and then moves out toward, you know, okay, what issue are you willing to make that sort of same commitment around? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you in the National Writing Project have been doing stuff with American Creed, which is a PBS film. Mm -hmm. So you get a sense of how this all works. Mm -hmm. um, this one, do you know Carmen Lomas Garza's work? You know, we you mentioned it last time we talked, and okay. right. it's given that you're in Texas. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And my daughter's name is Carmen. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, cool. Uh, um. So there's possibilities there. Let me. Yeah. Okay. So let's give ourselves 10 or 15 minutes to finish here, right? Okay. Um, but let me, um, let's go to LRNG. Let's shift focus for a little bit. Does sure. that make sense? Mm -hmm. um, and I'm gonna log in as a student. Notice um, it is easier to do now. And I, no, that was in March you asked that question. I looked at an old email. Um, so your students would, both in LRNG and on Now Comment and in Youth Voices, they have they they have uh, Google accounts, do they? Yes. With your school, okay. Um, what? Oh, I know. Okay. So they would all just log in with the Google buttons on all those sites. So okay. it's it's pretty easy to do. Mm -hmm. um, so there's on. Once you and I'm logging in as a student, I will give you a student account so you can do that too, and a teacher account if you don't have one yet. I think you do though, but I'll I'll make sure you're all set up with that. Yes, I, I think I, it's I've, a, log, I've logged in recently. I just don't know which account it is. Yeah. Okay. Uh, should I go back and show? Yeah, that's always the worst showing. That's a, okay. <laughs> yeah. Let me let me do, let me do it fast. It's worth saying. So when you log in, mm -hmm. I will make you will have the same using the same email address. Okay. But at the top here, you see the two tabs. Mm -hmm. Yes. User means student. Okay. And then you can log in with Google probably there. Right. Um, your teacher accounts would be here, and you can only log in by typing your password in and your right. All that in there. Good, good, good. Okay. Okay. So you just have to make sure you're on the right tab. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it is worth exploring as a student because otherwise, how would you? 
it's hard to it's hard to imagine what it the experience is like, mm -hmm. but <laughs> I'm rushing it. Okay, so there's a discovery page, and so if they wanted to find that one we just referred to, right? Mm -hmm. I just search for Garza, and it comes up here, right? And and I can say, ooh, I want to do this one after I look at it. And then when I go to my dashboard, right, um, I hope it did. It should show up down here and do it. Yep, on the right side. Oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> Too many examples here. Now, so, um, yeah, so that shows up here, right? And then I can work on it. It doesn't, it's not embedded on Youth Voices anymore, and that's a little bit confusing, but I think mm -hmm. you know, everyone can get that, I think. But, um, yeah. So as you do it, it uh, it marks off where you are in it. Uh, how do I show that? Six Ps. Oh, it, it comes up here at the top. Well, you can mess around here as a student sometime. I, I recommend it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to go back to my dashboard. I wanted to say in the <laughs> in the inquiry stuff, mm -hmm. So, and this is an example of it's almost like choice within, OK, the teacher's given me these two I can choose. And then there's a larger and larger universe of choice. Mm -hmm. You want to mm -hmm. kind of think of it that way. Mm -hmm. So the National Writing Project, and I have helped make this, made this take action from protest to proposal, which is sim another kind of inquiry process, right? Um, which isn't on the Youth Voices pages, you'll notice. OK. But yeah. Is this making sense? Yeah. How, yeah, yeah. OK. And then, of course, you can go out further, and there are lots there, you know, there, people across the whole country and, and making different things. So different playlists that kids can find and, and choose. So for example, if you're interested in music, right? Um, oh, good, they already did this, sorry. <laughs> Um, I, I was gonna so notice <laughs> this play it comes up as playlist pages, mm -hmm. um, which is probably the best way to look. Okay. So then I'm looking through here, and you as a teacher would get used to some of these, for example, and you'd say, "Oh, there's beat making too." This is a quick, obvious example, but um, let me go over here and do beat making one. And work that through that before I work through beat making too, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So your dashboard, anything you're working on, ends up here on top, mm -hmm. right? And shows you how many XPs you've finished and how many you need to work on. Mm -hmm. Anything you bookmark shows up down here. Mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't recommend bookmarking this many. <laughs> <laughs> so that's just because I'm not really doing it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And then there's a My Work page where it makes it easy for you to find all your stuff. Let me, um, I'm looking at the time. I'm going to go quickly because I think it, this is kind of, I, I find it inspiring in some way. Hope I do this right. Um, category? Yeah. Oh, let me just do that. Yeah, there it is. So youthvoices.live slash categories slash portfolio. And so these are just as, as an example. Mm -hmm. These are the portfolios from a 12-day summer program we did oh, cool. um, with ELLS. Um, trying to think. So I'm going to show you two examples and two ones, two that are different, right? Um, so this is what their portfolio ends up looking, right? Um, this image is sort of separate, but um, sh there's an about me section, mm -hmm. which you know we use the profile stuff and they think about if they want to keep the whole thing or not. Mm -hmm. But in this case, she, oh wait, sorry. There's the about me section. 
Oh, she didn't put much in her about me. There we go. Mm -hmm. I told you it was different. Now, mm -hmm. but her, her badges, she's very clear about like, okay, you're going to see this, then you're going to see this, my beautiful neighborhood one, you're going to see the sparking Korea's questions, and where I'm from. Ooh. Okay. That's good. We just talked about all this. Yeah. Anyway, right. so what happens is they you you see the badge, mm -hmm. right? And then she puts in, she's chosen her what she thinks are her two best pieces of work here. Right. Yeah, there we go. And then there's the second badge, a couple pieces of work. And if you clicked on any of these, you would go to the work. Right. Okay. So that's that's kind of nice. And given your six week thing, it seems to me that you know you want to leave time at the end to put together your portfolio. Um, I don't know. Oh, okay. That's great. Sorry. Let me see if I can find though another one. It doesn't matter too much. Um, uh, okay, I don't know why I'm taking so much time to think about it, but let's try this one. So this one, right, Tanya's, is organized a little differently, and we can all think about what works best, what doesn't. Um, here's her about me, right, which is a little more detailed. It, but then, and then her her reflection on her badges mm -hmm. is uh, is longer and more interesting for the learner. Mm -hmm. Question is, if we're showing this to a principal to say, give this kid credit for the work she did this summer, mm -hmm. would that principal sit there and read through this? <laughs> so those those are the issues we were thinking about. I and see. then instead yeah. of showing the work, she just puts her badges up here. Okay. Here are my badges. But then if you click on each one of them, you can go to the work and see, and see the work there. So anyway. It's um, coming back to LRNG quickly here. Mm -hmm. though. And you said they were choosing their two best pieces from that <sighs> X from that series of XPs, or yeah, I said that quickly. Let me just um, where where was I? <laughs> <laughs> uh, here it is. So. That's how the first one I showed you, she organized it. You mm -hmm. can think about however you want to organize it. Mm -hmm. For this one, and she was my student, we, we said, you're just going to do a portfolio of badges. You're just going to show you the badges off that you did, and mm -hmm. you're going to spend more time just thinking about. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. confusing. There we go. So it's just a place to collect the badges. And then we spent more time working on the reflection on it. Mm -hmm. Right. Great. And I'm sure the badge if I, if I struggled I, with the most was that. Yeah. yeah. Cool. If I take some time and look at it, I'm sure it'll make more sense. Okay. I just, I just study and more. just, and just to, the my work, let's skip that for a second. But then just to show you the portfolio over here, you when you create a portfolio, it's way open. You kind of can decide whatever you want to put on it. And what's nice about the My Work is it doesn't have to be related to a badge. Oh, oh I wanted to clarify the two things that she chose were, so if the XP, if there are four XPs, she has submitted four items for that badge. Mm -hmm. But then she's going back and saying, okay, here are the two pieces in this mm -hmm. badge that I want you to look at. Great. Right, yeah. So. And just that to clarify, a, a just little to clarify, breathless there. Sorry. <laughs> no, that was easy. I, and I assumed that's what you meant. Um, and just to clarify, a portfolio mm -hmm. can be made regardless of if they've completed badges. It can just be a portfolio. That's exactly right. Okay. And they and work can be uploaded here, for example, whether or not it's a, a, on a badge. Okay. Right? And so, and then yeah. can the portfolios be seen on Youth Voices, or is it exclusive to LRNG? So LRNG is still working on how they're going to um, 
make them visible to other people. Okay, I see. When when the youth when the youth create them, they have a choice of making them private, mm -hmm. which I don't understand. <laughs> why, mm -hmm. why you're making them anyway? But maybe for a while, right? I don't know. Okay. There, there's a middle choice of um, it's not publicly available, but if any, if I send the link to anybody, they can see it. Okay. And then then there's publicly available, and those publicly available ones will be somehow displayed on LRNG. So. They're still working through that. So mm -hmm. what we did this summer is we created this. We we made it uh, a playlist that teaches them how to embed it on the youth voice, just on the youth voices post. Cool. So it goes up here as an as mm -hmm. my here's my portfolio. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I, I saw a bunch of these when I was perusing through the youth voices. I noticed all the summer L. All right. So I'm sorry I didn't listen to you more, <laughs> but. We got through a lot. <laughs> no, this was a lot. This is this is exactly what okay. I needed to see. Okay. Um, you have two minutes to tell me where you want me to think next with you. <laughs> um, what do you need to do next? Well, you just what are you thinking about? Yeah. So I um, I I think. I think this is good. I, I I was aiming low for this this six weeks. Um, so the way that my class works is I have I have a handful of other I call them modules I guess or projects that they choose. And so Youth Voices is one of the projects. Um, mm -hmm. And this is great because um, I mean there's choice within my class, but then there's a ton of choice just within Youth Voices itself. Um, right. But I guess what I like is for particular students that this works with and they're very motivated, then they can just exclusively work through Youth Voices and they don't necessarily have to do any of my other projects if they don't want to, um, if it fits within their needs. And we'd love for you to figure out how to put those mm -hmm. pro those modules on LRNG eventually. Right. Right. So that, yeah, there's all that. Okay, yeah. And I love to say that if if you walked out <laughs> um, after we started talking about youth voices. I think, uh, you know, before we talked about our LRNG, I think that'd be fine. So in other words, it's all about youth voices. Right, yeah, exactly, that, yeah. yeah. Cause then once stuff gets up there, we can always bring LRNG in in other ways, right? So, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, and honestly, I, I think, I, I just really appreciate you kind of like walking me through the different, um, I guess, I don't know if you call them assignment. What do you call them on Youth Voices? The different uh, projects. Yeah, they're called playlists. Playlists, yeah. the different playlists on, mm -hmm. on Youth Voices. Um, I don't know, it, it helps me. I'm just like kind of that, that sort of learner. And um, so that's really motivating. And um, I'm just gonna start, I mean, I wanted to move beyond obviously the bio and comment and I didn't understand really how to like launch into the projects. Last year I was kind of confused. And so I just ended up like, making up projects and then just having them po making, so, you know, I was using it just as a publishing platform. I wasn't necessarily using it um, to seek out projects that they would work on. Does that make sense? It does. So I'm of two minds. I can go either way and you can. So, but think about this. Um, I think identity stuff is way, way real important for L's, right? Yes. Yeah. On the other hand, sometimes all they do is tell their immigration story, right? <laughs> it's sure. like, I tried yeah. to do that again. Right? Yeah. So there's all that. Right. But, um, the other thing, though, is that if you're not going to be living on Youth Voices very long, mm -hmm. um, then why create a profile there, right? Mm -hmm. It's more important to get your voice out about something that's important to you. Yeah. I first. See. So maybe you start there with, and then, and then, Okay, now that you care about youth voices, do you want to make a profile that for that space where you've put up some stuff? Right. So because, I, th I think yeah. about it that way. Yeah. yeah, I like that. I actually didn't yeah. even consider it that way. Um, because I, I just kind of saw it as them getting their feet wet and kind of getting there. But it's kind of almost more intimidating than actually like launching into a project. For some of my students, it was a little intimidating to write a bio. Yeah, that start inquiry with with questions or quests the quest one, whatever that one was, mm -hmm. the 10 self-general questions one. The intention of that is to, you ought to be able to do that in 
three hours at tops, right? Okay. So that one's, that's a nice one, I think, to start with anytime. Having said that, <laughs> the, the 10 self 10 world questions is not easy. You know, it's in, it's intended to really make you think, right? But Yeah. But all right. All right. Nicole, let's keep doing this. Okay, this has been helpful. <laughs> Do you know if uh, you have a five-month-old? I know, but <laughs> let me let me stop the broadcast. But let me ask you.